Nobody wants to explain to their neighbors why they shouldn't call the cops. Or wants to see their short life flash before their eyes. But the squirrels drew first blood, and their bridge has to go. A three grand quote didn't work for me, so it starts with some rope and a rope saw. Take the rope and tie it to each end of the rope saw to give it some more range. Attach a weight to one end. Say a quick prayer and let it fly. I hope it goes without saying, but don't try this at home. It could cost you a window, your eye, or something more. Once in position, I start cutting. And while I'm cutting, I'm making sure the branch won't hit me on the way down. And about 20 minutes later, my first branch comes down. And there goes my will to do this anymore. As I was lying there, I was reflecting on life. How did I get here? What am I doing? But then it dawned on me, man-made power tools. Let's try this again. And next day delivery got me a pole saw. The pole saw only had about a 10 foot range. The rope saw had about 30. I was hoping for the best. It was definitely faster than a rope saw, but I was closer to the action. Don't forget to dodge the branches. With one branch down and 10 more to go, turns out I was a little too short to get anything else done. It's a great saw, but time for some modification. Do not try this at home. Drilled a bunch of holes and added some supports on the inside and the outside. This project was a mix of steel and some aluminum scrap supports I had. I braced it as best as I could, but this was clearly not safe. The main point of this is bracing it like your life depended on it. After I finished and was testing it, there was a little bit of wiggle. So I used aluminum and plastic tie wraps to hold everything down. Both of which probably not enough to keep me safe. Once I secured everything, I gave it a quick test. It was still shaking, so I went back and I doubled the amount of tie wraps. Death by pole saw doesn't sound fun. Do not try this at home. And there you have it, a 21 foot pole saw. Unfortunately, I'm not Thor, so I had to use a back brace to wield this death trap. To activate the saw, I had to bypass the safety measures. Because the weight is at the front of the saw, I had to dig it into the ground to bring it up. I had to turn my back to the saw to get it in position, so if it fell off the pole, I would be done for. The way the saw is balanced, it puts you right under the cut, so it could expose you to a falling piece of wood. First cut was something small. It took a few tries to get in position, but once I did, I was able to get the cuts done quickly. Also, when bringing down the saw, I had to be careful so I didn't break it. The more comfortable I got, the easier it was, but regardless, it was very dangerous. After a bunch of smaller cuts, I decided to go for something big. And when I made contact, it was glorious. Hey. That cut made the project for me. Let's see that again. At the end of the day, everything was pretty successful. I got the job done, saved a few grand. But the risk was pretty great, so I wouldn't really recommend this to anyone ever. Do not try this stuff at home. When doing this on your own, always call a professional. I'm the Level 1 Builder. I'll see you around. <laughs>